Buzz with your host, Brandon Coates. Hi. Wow, this really snuck up like I just walked in here about 30 seconds ago. Fan-damn-tastic. How's everybody doing? I'm sexy. Um, you're sexy. I am. You're, like, you're feeling sexy today? No, just tell your friends I'm sexy. Scott is sexy, ladies and gentlemen, just so you know. Um, yeah, so uh, originally what I had planned for the After Buzz is we were going to do some like drawing competitions where um, I was going to give Buzz... Uh, or, the way we were going to do it is Scott was going to give Buzz something to draw, but he's not going to tell me what he told Buzz to draw. Buzz has to draw it from memory. He has like 60 seconds to draw it, and then I have to guess what the hell it is that um, Buzz drew. It's basically Pictionary is what it is. Yeah. Uh, or remember Win, Lose, or Draw? Oh, Remember yeah. that show? That was fun. Um, so stuff like that, but I ran out of time, so we'll hopefully get to that next week. So there you go. There's your tease for something that I wasn't able to properly have planned. Whee! Uh, but something I was going to bring up today, and I think we might bring it up on the show later this week, and I'm working on a post for buzzadamshow.com for it, but it was something I found on Reddit where it says, which celebrity is generally accepted as being extremely attractive, but you just can't see it? Top of the list, Mark Anthony. Apparently there's people who think that Mark <laughs> Anthony is attractive, and this person said, Mark Anthony looks like a mosquito to me. No, that's, yeah, I'm yeah. with you on that. See? Um, so for me, the one person who people always thought was like super hot, and I just never understood, uh, Katie Holmes. Yeah. I never yeah. quite got it. Like, I just, Her, like, I, like, I don't think she's ugly. Hers is a plain beauty. But I like I don't see like, there was a guy that I worked with who was like obsessed with Katie Holmes who loved Katie Holmes and I just I I, I just I don't see it. Um, but uh, so yeah, so if you have any celebrities that you don't find attractive, but for in general the I, the I, vast I, majority believe that this person is attractive. I feel the same way about Scarlett Johansson. Just, really? What is it? Just she just looks plain to me. Like I don't. There's nothing about her that just like, mm -hmm. oh my god, like, I, you know, yeah, I mean, she's, I don't, she's pretty, she's got a nice body, but like, most beautiful woman, like, no, I don't, not that You know what pretty. really brought Scarlett Johansson down a couple notches in my book? Her acting in The Avengers. Yeah. Like, the, it, like, it felt like when they were doing The Avengers, what they were trying to do is they were trying to give her quippy one-liners to, like have more of her character on screen, I guess? Because Black Widow's kind of a blah character when you're looking at a, a, a movie that has, like, you know, Thor and the Hulk. Right. And Iron Man. Um, but I remember when Iron Man's flying in, he's like, I'm bringing the party to you. And she looks at him and she goes, that doesn't look like a party to me. Like, it wasn't funny. It just, it was, it was terribly delivered and just, I don't know, that brought her down. I still think she's hot, though. Um, but I, I, I still, yeah, that brought her down a couple notches. The I'll next take, person. I'll take Katie Holmes. You can have Scarlett Johansson. There you go. Uh, this person put on here. Uh, I guess this isn't current, but I never understood the appeal of Tori Spelling when she was in her prime. Her face looks a bit masculine to me. Her face looks like a mask. Yeah, it. it she's not attractive at all to me. No, know. and then there's other people in here who. Uh, one person says she looks like the white guy, the the guys in White Chicks. <laughs> Uh, another person right here, she looks like a less attractive Tim Curry. Wow. And then there's somebody here's basically they're just they're like it was her boobs were the appeal. Is what yeah, it was. Yeah, well yeah, her daddy got her a job on TV and Yeah, he got her two jobs, the T V job and the boob job. Yeah. Ah wow. See what I did there? Um somebody on here says, I don't find Tila Tequila attractive, and I am a Vietnamese male. Um, I can see the attractiveness. Now is she a moron? Yes. Did she somehow turn into a Nazi despite the fact she's Vietnamese? Oh hell yeah! Yeah, that was she's weird. a fucking way up. Best thing to ever happen at uh, Gathering of the Juggalos was when they brought her out on stage and they just bombarded her yeah. with bottles and cans. Like get the fuck off the stage. She nasty. Well done, well done, Juggalos. She nasty. Uh, who's a, a couple other people in here? Madonna. People are saying I like, grew up in the '80s and never found her to be attractive. I never really got it either when it comes to Madonna. Yeah, yeah, I mean, sometimes. But yeah, I get, I'm trying yeah. to think of something. Oh, you know what she was really hot in? Dick Tracy. Oh yeah. She was hot in Dick Tracy. Yeah, I'll give her that. Well there. Um, Ashley Bell says The Rock. He has those huge fake teeth and huge bug eyes. 
And Block doesn't that. like The Rock either. Um, and then this is going to bring up a conversation that they had on The Office. Hillary Swank. Did you watch The Office, Scott? Yes, I did. Do you remember when they get into the whole big debate and, and truly the entire office is debating whether or not she's hot? And, they, like, they just aren't going to settle it. And it's just, is she, is she hot? Will you do her? All these other things. Hillary Swank? Yeah, I don't get it. All right. Uh, somebody wrote in here, Benedict Cumberbatch. This tattoo looks like he needs a cheeseburger in the worst way. Uh, so then, of course, this, this throttled into a bunch of people coming up with different versions of his nickname, where you have Battlefield Conquest Match, <laughs> Bumbershoot Cornerback, Benadryl Cucumber Snatch, uh, Peppermint Scooby Snack. Um, so that, that's another one. Uh, Gwyneth Paltrow. I think Gwyneth Paltrow is beautiful. Is she dumb as a brick? Yeah. Nope. Um, like whatever you do, if she puts her name on a product or on anything, don't do it. Because chances are it's from it's coming from a crazy place. Um, but no, I I, th I think going to Paltrow's beautiful. Um, yeah, until you hear her speak, and then you realize, oh, she's just a rich, spoiled little horrible human being. Yeah, Ashley Jones also says Tila Tequila is a flat earther as well. Yeah, like that, like. Talk about, but then again, like, that takes it what, did, was she the one that got famous on MySpace? Is that I, what yeah, that was? Yeah, yeah, and now she's just in porn and, you know, just Fucking whatever. idiots, man. This is, see, this is what happens when you make stupid people famous. Stop doing it. Don't do it anymore. Ugh. Um, another person here says Norman Reedus, a.k.a. Daryl from The Walking Dead. Um, yeah, I never had a thing for him either. Yeah, yeah I've, I have not either. I just... Did you ever see Boondock Saints? Yes. Did oh you ever see God. Boondock oh. Saints 2? Oh, no, I haven't seen Boondock Saints. Well, you don't like Boondock Saints? My, I, the girlfriend I was with at the time was obsessed with this movie. She moderated a fan site. She was so into this okay, movie. Okay, that's, I, like, I will usually watch it on my birthday, but that's because my birthday's on St. Patrick's Day. Oh, there you go. So there's I, a I, link there. And whatever. Like, but that know, seems a little... It's fine. It's you know, whatever. It's an enjoyable movie. Like, I, I don't hate it. But like I sure as fuck don't love it. Wow, um, it's, not, it's not something worth being that excited. About. I was gonna say, well, if you already didn't like number one, whatever you do, do not see number two. Oh, number two good. is yeah. arguably the number two is so bad, it actually affects how good number one is. Did you see? Did you see the documentary they shot? No, I want to see that though oh, about the God. about the director. Absolutely watch it. Absolutely watch it. It's the best. What's it called again? Do you I know? I cannot remember. But, look that up real um, quick. Yeah, the, yeah, find that and watch it. It was on Netflix for when I watched it several years ago. It's I hope totally it's still perfect. there. Um, total oh, Overnight. It's about Troy Duffy. That's it. Um, okay, so anyway, uh, so yeah, so Norman Reedus, and what, I'm going down that path. It's obviously Norman Reedus was, you know, in Boondock Saints. And um, the one thing is when they go from number one to number two, number one came out in what, 99, 98, maybe? Yeah, something like that. 2000? Um, the documentary we were talking about, that came out in 2004. Um, but, uh, no, it was all, like, you could tell that, God, it, it's Norman Reedus and what's his face? The, the other brother, I'm blanking on his yeah, name, Sean, Sean McManus uh, or something? Yeah. No, they're the McManus brothers. The McManus brothers, but it's uh, Sean Patrick Flannery. There you go, yeah, so Sean Patrick Flannery, uh, 99 is when that movie came out. And then they came out with number two, which came out in uh, 2000. So you got a 10-year gap there. You can tell these dudes had a rough life in those 10 years because their, their plastic surgery was all fucked up on their faces and they looked weird. And, like, they just, they didn't, like, Ouch. going from that movie to the second one, you could tell that there was a, a rough 10 years for the two of them. Um, but, yes, yeah, so this person saying Norman Reedus, who, uh, by the way, Walking Dead returns in just, you know, like a month. Fuck yeah. Uh, somebody else on here. So the, again, we're talking about celebrities that are generally accepted as being attractive, but you just don't see it. Uh, mine is Katie Holmes, Scott, Scarlett Johansson, uh, and this person puts Julia Roberts. Yeah, I, I get it. I mean, like, I mean, I can see like there's there's times where she's really really beautiful, and there's other times where I'm like, eh, like she just kind of has a goofy looking face. Yeah. Like, is it just like the overbite or something that's it's, going she's on got a there? Huge mouth, like it's almost like. 
You know, most people just have like a opening on the front of their face, but it's like her mouth wraps around the side of her skull. It's yeah, it's really weird. weird. Um, another person on here puts Uma Thurman. Yeah. I definitely can get the, you know, there's sometimes where she looks good. Like uh, Pulp Fiction. Yeah, nice. that's the good stuff. But then like Kill Bill and stuff. like. But then again, even being a Tarantino fan, I've never been able to watch any of the Kill Bills. Really? I can't get through them. They bore the piss out of me. Wow. I just, I can't, I can't get through them. You should get high and watch them. Which is funny because uh, our boss, Kevin, will constantly make references because he knows I'm a Tarantino fan. But I don't think I've ever told him I've never actually seen Kill Bill wow. or Kill Bill Volume you're gonna, 2. You're going to break his heart. I know. If he, if he watches this, he's going to be like, what? He's been lying to me? Uh, but yeah, I just, you know, I haven't been able to, uh, haven't been able to get into it there. Um, it's worth it once you make it to the end if you can force yourself to do it. But I can see how you could get bored with it. Um, so yeah, so if, if you have anybody, you can put it in the Facebook um, chat now. But um, uh, another person on here puts Cameron Diaz. Yeah. There was a moment there where she, to me, was the most beautiful person on the planet. Like, circa the mask. Ding, 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 ding. Yes. Scott hit the nail on the head. And that mo Her in that movie, beautiful. And it's something happened. Yeah, and like, like, it's like, she like got really thin or something. Or her, like, it's like she stayed the normal size, but her mouth continued to grow or something like that. Like, she's got an abnormally large mouth. Am I right? Yeah, no, you're totally right. Okay. And also then when you hear her speak and she does the whole valley girl thing, it's kind of like, you know. Yeah, and then there's uh, another person here who puts Johnny Depp. He looks like he smells. I've heard he smells. I've never oh, been around him personally, but there's, there's people who I have been around him that they're like, yeah, this dude doesn't shower. It's just like stale cigarettes and stuff. Um, and that's, that's uh, um, like, have you ever met a celebrity that just stunk? Like, just they smell bad? I haven't, I don't think, but I, I've heard of uh, somebody got in an elevator and Steven Tyler was in there and he smelled horrible. I could see that. I could definitely see that. The dudes from Good Charlotte, they smell like feet. Yeah. Nicest guys on the planet. Like they're super cool. Really nice, but oh man. man for so long. Fucking shower, please. Um, Ashley puts in there a Paris Hilton. No, yeah, no. No, I think it was just because she did, she was rich and she just wasn't ugly. <laughs> was kind of yeah, she was rich. It's kind of one of those things, she's and she was rich. and she's willing to take her clothes off. Yeah, she's rich, not ugly, willing to take her clothes off, and she doesn't give a crap about anything. So you know, you can probably raw dog that if you want. Yeah. Um. So if you have any more, bring them up in the in the Facebook chat. We're gonna make this a relatively short after buzz. Um. But uh, another thing I'm going to bring up, and this is specifically for everybody here in El Paso, or if you happen to be checking out YouTube this Saturday, you will get a notification because we'll hopefully be going live with another edition of Dungeons & Dragons. Yeah, boy. We're going to be out of Military Gamer Supply, so over the next couple of days, you can actually, you know what, uh, if you want to email me now, um, I'm just going to take emails from people and I'm going to do a random drawing like I did last time. We're going to have four spots for winners to go out to Milita Military Gamer Supply here in El Paso this Saturday to play Dungeons and & Dragons. And uh, you'll be joining myself, Joanna, maybe Nico at this point. I don't have a damn clue what that dude's up to or what he's doing. Yeah. Um, but we'll be out there playing Dungeons and & Dragons and I know that Joanna and myself, we're getting characters that we're going to start uh, building. Like last time, we, we were just given a kind of a random character yeah. here, start with this, and then that character was done. But we're, because we're hopefully going to be doing this now, maybe once a month or so, where we get to go out there and play. And what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be building on that character. So we're going to be playing with the same. But if you win, you get to come in and play, and you just get to kind of have a random character if you want. So if you want in on Dungeons and Dragons, you can shoot me an email, brandon at buzzadamshow.com. Shoot me the email just saying I want in on the Dungeons & Dragons contest and then Friday after the show I'm just going to do a random drawing and right there I'm going to pick the four winners. I believe that you're going to get a D&D starter kit as well if you win your way in to come play with us. All you got to do is show up at Military Gamer Supply on Saturday at 8 o'clock. Again, if you don't win, if you're not in, you can still show up. We had people do that last time where they were able to show up um, we had like 20 something people watching us yeah, play Dungeons they, and Dragons. They come in and out, they'd watch for a while, and, I don't know where, and then they leave, and, and I try to get the crowd involved. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was an absolute 
Um, it was an absolute blast. I mean, we had we had a ton of fun. We we try to lock it in so that we're going to be doing it from eight to ten. And one of the funniest references uh, to this most recent episode or this recent season of uh, Game of Thrones was that you know how all of a sudden they were able to travel places a lot quicker than they were before. Like, yeah. So yeah. I saw somebody on Reddit who was uh, it was a shower thought that said this season of Game of Thrones is like. Um, a bunch of kids playing Dungeons and Dragons, but one of them has to go because their mom's calling them, so they're <laughs> rushing. So they're rushing through the game really quick, like they're just speeding everything up so they can get through the get through the campaign. Um, so yeah, so if you want in on that, go ahead and shoot me an email. It's Brandon at BuzzAdamShow.com. Uh, and again, on Friday, I'll be doing a random drawing. We're going to get four people qualified to come sit down, play some Dungeons and Dragons with us, eight to ten this Saturday out at Military Gamer Supply. Um, and we'll be live streaming it, so if you can't make it, you can watch from the comfort of your home. Exactly. And we're hoping to kind of fix the audio this time. No idea if we're going to be able to or not. Uh, but we're going to try to, you know, you got to remember, we're dealing with very limited equipment here. Uh, but we're going to try to do something. Um, uh, we're going we're to try to do something with the audio. And... Um, let me see here. Erica says that she met Johnny Depp at the Lone Ranger premiere, but he didn't smell because it was probably his shower day. Uh, well. That would uh, probably be a... Uh, Could have done it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe he's got one a week, maybe. Or at least when he knows he's going to be out in public then, yeah, at maybe. a place like that. He's probably got a person he's hired just to remind him if you got a shower. And he probably doesn't even do it. He probably just says somebody scrub him with a sponge. Um, and Will says, Jessica Bell, great body, not pretty? Who's Jessica means, Bell? I think he means Jessica Beale. Oh, Beale. Oh, no, I think, I think Jessica Beale is beautiful. Yeah, I, I yeah. Um, no, I yeah. Here, let me uh, let me see if I can pop one of these images up here on the. Uh, oh, that's not an attractive one. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's there's one that like it's like a bad angle, so the lighting is weird. So you like you see the bags under her eyes and stuff and. Um, no, I think I, I'd say Jessica Biel is Jessica Biel is very. Yeah. Uh, here, can we get this one? Is it focusing at all? She kind of looks like Melania right there a little bit. Got the squinty eyes, yeah. the hair. Um, yeah. So they, yeah. So Jeff, no, just could be like, yeah. But then again, the whole point of this is it's to each their own. It's it's that there's the whole point of it is the fact that there are these celebrities that. Majority of people say, "Yeah, that person's hot," and then there's just there's ones that you're like, "I don't get it. I don't understand. Um, I don't understand what they're looking at." Uh, but anyway, Scott, you got anything to add here? You got any others other than your Scarlett Johansson? Uh, not right offhand. That one's just always kind of stuck in my craw. And stuck in my craw. Um, just a couple here from the Reddit thread. There's Mark Wahlberg. His face looks like a sack of potatoes after a fight. Um, another person says, more like a Vietnamese guy's face after a fight. Oh, Am I right? Oh, snap. Um, another person put Ariana Grande. I know she's an adult, but I swear she always looks 15. Same with Selena Gomez, actually. Yeah. They do. They they look perpetually the same age. Yeah. Uh, or forever 15. Uh, Ariel Winter, that's the girl from Modern Family. Every time I get on Snapchat, there's another news thingy about what she wore that day, and I just think she looks very trashy. I, Ariel Winter has kind of gotten slightly obnoxious a little bit. A little bit. With the whole thing of, stop looking at my ass, but then all she does is post pictures of her ass. Yeah, here's like, my ass all over the place, in my boobs. And yeah, it's like, come on, grow up. Uh, Lorenzo says Emma Stone. I can see that with Emma Stone a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I mean, I like her, but, you know. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, anyway, just got to think about it. We might bring this up later on the show. Oh, and this this was the capper. So this is the one. That's how we're going to end the after buzz today. Was the whole point is, what is a celebrity that the vast majority of people feel is attractive, but you just don't see it? And for some reason, this person put Danny DeVito. Who the fuck thinks Danny DeVito is attractive? I mean, it's enough to the Ray, point where Ray that Carlton. dude's actually... But here's the thing. It's enough to the point where he's actually had marital problems with Rio Perlman because of his infidelity. Yeah, but I think a lot more... Like, Here's the thing. This is something that you need to do when it comes to stuff like this. Is You have to take away a person's celebrity. If this person's not a famous person, yeah. do you still think they're attractive? And I would be willing to bet majority of people 
not going to think that Danny DeVito is attractive if you take away the fact that he is um, Frank Reynolds from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. It looks like a, like a weeble wobble, or I mean, it just looks like a ball. It looks well, like and it a says ball here that human. it says here that somebody says, "I know everyone thinks he's the epitome of heartthrob, but I personally don't find him all that sexy." <laughs> this is it's got to be troll, right? <laughs> like that's that's legitimately got to be a troll. Uh, yeah, Danny DeVito gets more trend than anyone. And so somebody ends up putting the gif on here of when he's crawling out of the couch during the Christmas episode when they have him hiding. Uh, and then they're talking about like the flu season episode when he's completely shaved himself and he's in a diaper and he's covered himself in hand sanitizer. Oh, <laughs> so, oh, oh I've, got, I've got one. Oh, here we go. The Olsen twins. Never thought, especially when they Well, were they look like Skeletor now. They're, I mean, they're really whoa. horrific looking and they, need, they really need like a, some hot dogs. Well, Adrian says they might have a penguin fetish when it comes to Danny DeVito. Um, and Erica also agrees with The Rock. She says she just doesn't get it. Here's the thing. I think The Rock is a great dude. The guy's got a great personality. He was fantastic at wrestling. Um, from everything that I've heard, he's one of the nicest guys on the planet. Like, he's always willing to go out of his way for his fans. But I've said it on the air, and I'll say it again. The dude does not make good movies. No. Like, there's a reason he's in remakes and stuff like that. Yeah. Or, like, video game movies. Because he's not... Like, he has he has a big personality that's entertaining, but as an actor, he's not good. Do you remember? Does that makes sense. Do you remember when Roger Ebert totally went crazy for the Rock? He's like, he's the next big thing. Like, this guy's gonna be great. really. Yeah, like Roger Ebert thought he was gonna be like the like one of Hollywood's great actors. Interesting. I yeah. did not know that. Hmm. Well, on that note, I mean, he's dead now. So Roger Ebert. So. And, and clearly, he was wrong. Yeah. Sorry, Rog. Uh, on that note, so if you want, again, one more time, D&D this Saturday here in El Paso at a Military Gamer Supply, you can email me, Brandon, at BuzzAdamsShow.com if you want in on the contest. All you got to do is send me an email that says, hey, man, I want to play some D&D. And then Friday after the show, I'm going to email the winners to let you know. Just meet us out there. Plus, I believe you're getting a D&D starter kit if you show up as well. And on that note, we'll be back next week. Hopefully, we're going to do some drawing. We're going to have some fun stuff in line for the after buzz. Scott, anything else? Scott says no. All right, see you next week.